super excited because we are going to be judging the new makeup releases. Every Sunday we sit down together and we look through the new releases that have been shown. Some of these are available now, some of these are not, and we judge. We don't judge each other. That would not be fun, but we do judge the makeup. Is it cute? Is it ugly? Do we want it? Do we not want it? Is it going on our wish list? Should it have never been created? We are just going to have a good time talk about the releases. I'm going to share my thoughts and opinions, and I would love to hear what you think of these things. I cannot wait. Let's jump into it. All right, let's talk about the new releases. As always, everything I talk about will be linked in the description box, everything I'm wearing, all these makeup items that we talk about. I try to pack the description box as full as possible, but I'm gonna start off by talking about this release from Fenty because I really like Fenty and they're coming out with new highlighters. A lot of Fenty complexion products work well for me. If you missed my Saturday video and my Thursday video. I'm testing the new Fenty concealer in those videos. I really love their skin tint. Like that's one of my favorite makeup products of all time. So I know I need this Demi Glow Light Diffusing Highlighter. I have a ton of highlighters, but I could always use more, you know, like I could always use more. So I'm definitely planning to pick this up right now. I don't have a date. It just says coming soon. And it says that it's the Demi Glow Light Diffusing Highlighter. I don't know a lot other than that right now. The packaging looks to be this white, like opalescent packaging. The formula of the highlighters look baked. So I'm thinking that this is going to be like a lit from within type of glow highlighter, something that kind of sinks into the skin and gives a beautiful highlighter that is not like a super blinding highlighter or sparkle or anything like that. I really do not discriminate when it comes to highlighters. Like if it's good, it's good. Whether it's sparkly, whether it sinks into the skin, whether it is like landing planes, it's so bright. Like I love them all. Like different highlights for different days, you know? But this from Venti, I've got to try. Looking at the photo, there seems to be like some more bronzy, deeper tones, maybe some pinky tones, some light shades, like some champagne or yellowy highlighters. Either way, I'm gonna be on the lookout, I can't wait. Now something that is 100% a pass for me is this new Kosas BB Burst. So this is a tinted moisturizer gel cream with copper peptides. I have been using copper peptides in my skincare routine and I find myself really liking them. So I like that this has copper peptides. This says it is a tinted gel cream that gives a refreshing burst of active skincare, lightweight, buildable coverage, smooth, hydrated, natural finish. It is gonna come in 24 shades for $38 and it's going to be available in February. So the reason I'm not interested in this is because Listen, did you watch my worst of 2023 video? Because I talked about the Kosas bronzer in that video and they're like, they're not using preservatives or they're not using enough or the right kind because the products are going rank. So unless you are going to like use this up before it expires, like and I mean, before it expires, look at the expiration date because it may be something like three months, six months. I don't know. It just kind of has like made me a little cautious about testing Kosas. So I, I don't know. I don't, I don't think I'm going to be interested in this one. Looking at the shades, it does look like they have a really nice shade range. It looks like they have really nice undertones. So I think that is super appealing, but unless Kosas comes out and says like, no, we've stabilized our formula. It's going to last like longer than a stick of gum. Like maybe I would try it. But for right now, I just, like, I can't pay $38 plus tax on something that's going to go bad so quickly, you know? 
we do have a sneak peek from Adept and I am so excited about this. I do know this is being sent to me and as soon as I have it in my hands, I will be creating. It's a new palette coming from Adept. I, listen, I love Adept. If you didn't know, hi, hello. I do have the Heather Austin palette with Adept. It is still available on their site. They brought it back. Like I just love Adept so much. So they are bringing a palette called Flying Fiddles. And these are the images that I have right now. This is four mattes and 11 shimmers. It says it's going to be warm toned, grungy and neutral. I think this is a great idea for Adept to bring out a neutral palette. Now, listen, keep in mind, I have not seen the color story yet, but just hearing warm, grungy, neutral, I'm excited. I love a warm neutral. If I am going for neutrals, I mean, I, I, I wear it all. But like, if you had to tell me, like, Heather, you can only wear one type of neutral, I want them to be warm leaning preferably like golden, maybe even like olivey leaning to just work for me the best. But mm, I love a warm and I love a grunge. So I am so excited. And again, I know I love Adept, so I can't wait. It says this palette is going to be $62. You can use an affiliate code. My code is Heather if you ever want a discount. And as we talk about these releases, I will pop my codes on the screen if I have any. And of course, they're always in the description box too. But I just can't wait. I love this. I think a neutral palette is going to make a great addition to Adept's line. We do have La Cienega from them, but that one is a mostly matte palette. So I think to have a mostly shimmer palette that's neutral instead of just mostly mattes that neutral is really going to like add something to the line for Adept. So I'm excited. I can't wait. When I have more information, I will definitely share. I am planning to skip out on these new Sephora Care line products. This is something that I would definitely like swatch and look at if I was in store and they had these, but it's not something I'm going to be jumping at to purchase online. You know, I don't know. Let me know what you think. We have the Make It Glow. This is for face, eyes, and body under or over makeup it says it's lightweight comfortable three shades and it looks like kind of like a liquid highlighter i i don't know like just looking at how it's coming out of the tube it looks like there's a lot of sparkle in there so i'm i'm thinking this is more of a liquid highlighter rather than like a charlotte tilbury flawless filter so i'm not super interested in that and then we have a cream bronzer this is make it bronze cream to powder formula second skin finish it says it's a multi-use stick for a natural tan effect in four shades this one i would be more interested in i would definitely swatch this in store and see like because right now i i don't i don't know like is it sheer is it buildable? Is it pigmented? I like the idea of cream to powder, but I don't know. Like we have so many options and I love that. I know the new releases can be overwhelming for some, but for me, I like to have options. If I'm spending my money, like I want a lot to choose from and there's a lot to choose from. And so this like Sephora care cream bronzer, it's just not it's not pulling me in, you know? Beauty Bay is releasing a new palette. This is Reckless Romance. And I'm so happy to see them doing this 20 pan palette because I think Beauty Bay shines in this type of format. I have so many palettes from Beauty Bay in this 20 pan format. I think they do cool color stories. Uh, last year I bought their metamorphic palette. I have a video up with that and review and everything. The formulas were great, but I, I just didn't love that format. I thought like I liked this style a lot better. So I'm excited to see them going back to this. When they first posted teasers of this palette, it was not good. Like the lighting was all like, it looked like dead romance, you know, like it, it looked 
not good, like hopeless romance, not reckless. So I was immediately like, what is this? But now I can see the real images. I'm thinking I want to grab this. Let me know what y'all think. Would y'all like me to review this? I do know the Beauty Bay formula really well. So I feel like I need this. I like that it goes light to dark. I like that we have these gray tones mixed in with the mauves and the reds. I like that we have like a little bit of brown in there. I think the swatches look great. I think the photos look great. Let me know. Do you want me to review this? Because I think I'm, I think I'm going to grab it. Let's see. 20 matte and shimmer shades. And we've got grays, berries. It says it's vegan. Um, yeah. I think I'm going to grab this one. I did not buy any 20 pans from Beauty Bay last year. I think they only launched one or two and the color stories just didn't call to me. So this one looks beautiful. It does look very romantic. So I, I, mm, yeah, I could get down with this one. When I saw this Be Perfect concealer, it brought back the traumatic memories of trying the Be Perfect foundation. That foundation was so bad. It was so bad. And I saw they're launching a concealer and I'm like, Ugh. like it just mm, instant memories flooding back of like putting that paint on my face. So when I saw the concealer, I'm just like, no, 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 no. But let me tell you about it. This is the full impact concealer. It says it's soft matte, complete coverage, uh, has niacinamide and glycerin. They say it's crease proof, long wear, smoothing and blurring. It says instant coverage and in just one swipe in 26 shades. I, I, I think it's, it's available now at Be Perfect. And I love Be Perfect eyeshadows. I have some of their highlighters and blushes, lashes. Like, they make some great stuff. But the foundation, what, did the foundation launch like two or three years ago? I can't remember. But it was one of the worst makeup products I have ever tried in my entire life. And that includes like when I was a child playing with child's makeup or when I was a teenager and we just didn't have all the options we have now. Like, I don't, I, I don't see myself using this concealer. I think it looks like they have some cool shades and undertones, but it's not worth the risk. Unearthly Cosmetics has a Valentine's Day mystery box pre-order going right now. From what I can tell, this is a true mystery box. We do not know what is going to be inside. All we know is 12 full size products. I did like grab some like sneak peek reels they were doing where we could see like a palette inside. I think there was what th there were some things inside like, right? It looks like there's going to be brush eyeliner, lip something, but it's going to be 12 full size products. And it is, what did I say? 140, yeah, 145 US. And you can use an affiliate code with that. I did purchase this myself. Yes, I did use code Heather because <laughs> I'm like, I need to, I need to save. So 12 full size items. These are exclusive to the box. I'm just reading from Unearthly. It says the box is celebrating the power of bold, unapologetic beauty. It is shipping. I think now they're on the second wave of pre-orders. So when I ordered mine and I know I shared about it on the community tab for y'all, it was shipping mid February, but I think now the date is even later. So yeah, I just wanted to let y'all know 12 full size items. And it says that they're like exclusive to the box. I definitely ordered this. I purchased it. I went onto the site and gave them my money because anything unearthly does, I need. On that note, I wanted to say that my palette with unearthly is sold out. 
If you missed it and you want it, the collection box is still available, but the single palette did sell out. So the collection box includes the beautiful box, of course, the palette, the highlighter duo, and the gloss. I am wearing the gloss today. And honestly, I need to get out another because I was like scraping the tube to get out all the gloss. I think that's my fourth gloss to go through so I did want to say thank you to everybody who has supported the collab whether you bought it or you just told me you love it I appreciate it so much I'm also very excited about these milk sticks these are cooling water jelly tints sheer lip and cheek stains first of all I really like milk a lot of their products I think are just like really good like the milk hydro grip i don't know how many times i've repurchased that it's so good and the setting spray amazing i am just about done reviewing their concealer it's not a new concealer to the line i had never tried it i wanted it so i bought it you know if you watch my 2023 yearly favorites i talked about their gloss oil hybrid formula like there's just a lot of products from the brand that i really like so anytime they come out with something new i at least give it a double take you know like sometimes it's not for me but i always am like okay but tell me more so these i think look super cute when i was seeing the sneak peeks i'm like what is it like what is it and now we have the reveal so these were going to well the, the, these are not available at the time that I'm filming this and it says they are but they're not so I will put the launch date in the description box I do try to put the launch date along with links and things like that just in case you are looking for anything these are long-lasting blush and lip stains with hydrating bouncy jelly texture sheer buildable burst of color I really like the color range here too there's a poppy pink a red a coral a berry and they're $24 each. And honestly, I kind of want all of these colors. I really do. I really like that the component, the color matches the shade inside. I think that's just so like user friendly when I'm like, if I have a couple and I'm looking for a certain shade, I'm not worried about reading shade names. I can see it right there. I just like that. I really like the swatches. I like a sheer blush like this for like days where I'm not maybe fully glamming. I'm just doing like a skin tint, a pop of blush, maybe like a multi-chrome on the eyes, a little brow, a little mascara, you know, like, like one of those days where it's like, I have 10 minutes. I still want to spend some time on myself though, because that's what makeup, that's a lot of what it is for me. I want to take some time for myself. Even if I have 10 minutes, if I have an hour, great. If I have 15 minutes, great. Like but I just want to spend some time like doing what I enjoy that is makeup and I think I would actually really really like this for those days I think it would be a super fun product for that it looks like the stain is showing up on the light medium tan and deep skin tone that makes me hopeful I don't know I'm excited about this L'Oreal is launching a infallible makeup setting spray now I used to love the infallible foundation, but something about it stopped agreeing with my skin and I would get these horrible under the skin breakouts with their like pro matte foundation. So I stopped using it and I know that they have reformulated it, but they have not brought that new version to the US yet. So I'm still waiting for that because I really want to try that. We talked about that it feels like probably a year ago and it's still not available in the US and I still want it. So now they have a setting spray and it says that it's just available in Europe and I'm like, I want this. It says it is a 24 hour anti-melt, anti-fade, anti-crack setting spray. Now, listen, I have oily skin. I live in a humid place. When I was working 12 hour night shifts, which really was like, making me have my makeup on 14 to 15 hours, you know, like working, I needed my makeup to last. And if something claimed to have a 24 hour plus wear time, it usually meant that my oil and my like activities were not going to break the makeup apart. So 
I am really hopeful that this will like be a nice setting spray like set everything down and lock it especially like as we're going into the warmer months but I hope they actually bring it to the U.S. so I can try it. I think I'm going to pass on the Makeup Forever HD Skin Hydra Glow Foundation. I love the HD Skin Foundation. It's amazing. I have actually used up an entire bottle and repurchased it because it's, it's just very skin-like. It gives me this medium coverage that looks like a second skin, like not glowy, not matte, kind of this like semi-matte type of finish it wears well on my oily skin without feeling dry without feeling heavy i really love it and because that one to me is so great i don't think i need to go to the glow version because i think everything i love about the makeup forever hd is it, it is what it is and if i add like more glow to it i don't know that i would love that but if you found that you needed more glow than that one, maybe this one could be for you. This is the Hydra Glow Foundation Medium to Buildable Natural Coverage Glowy Finish 38 Shades. It says it is coming to the U.S. soon, and I think this is great. It says it's infused with hyaluronic acid, and I, like I said, I love the HD skin, so I think it's very smart for them to come out with a formula that's maybe more hydrating for people with dry skin. We have a sneak peek from Wicked Widow Beauty. I keep checking to see if they're going to reveal the inside. If they reveal the inside between the time that I'm talking to y'all and the time that this video goes up, we can always talk about it next week. I am going to have my niece and nephews spend the night. We're going to have a good time tonight. I'm going to be Auntie Heather and we're just like, listen, I'm going to be in it. So I definitely will not have time to like come back and like refilm if we see the inside, but I can't wait to see the inside. This is the Lovesick palette. I do have several videos up with Wicked Widow here on my channel if you're curious about the brand at all, but we'll definitely talk about this when we know more. I am intrigued by these Clarins lip oils. I won't spend too much time talking about it because I do know I love the formula. I have, I think the cherry one is like my go-to favorite. Very hydrating, very beautiful lip oil. And this is new colors and I want joyful yellow so much. There is passion pink, daring orange, joyful yellow. And I need that yellow like yesterday. Also something I already know that I love is the Vive new makeup release. This is Vive in Rose. So I have the Lip Dew from Vive. I actually used a whole one up and I repurchased. I love the Lip Dew formula. And they have a new color in Rosa. There is a Sunset Blush Balm. I've never tried that formula. There is a limited edition eye wand in Rose. I've never tried that formula, but they also have the blush in Rosa. I love the V blushes. I have like two singles. I have two face palettes that have multiple blushes. The blushes are very soft. They kind of like blend so easily. They look seamless on the skin while still having pigment that you can build up if you want to. They're not hard to blend. They don't fade throughout the day. I think this is a cute collection, like expanding their line in a new shade. I think it's a great idea. YSL is coming out with a couple of new products and I'm intrigued. I'm not saying I'm going to buy them yet, but I'm, I'm watching. Like I, I could be persuaded. We have a new finishing powder. It says it's a matte powder that's smooth texture. It's natural and soft and it is coming in 11 shades. I, I'm intrigued, you know. We also have a Hyper Boost Bronzer. It says it lasts for 24 hours. It gives a sun-kissed glow and it says it's sweat-proof, waterproof, crease-proof in five shades. This is something that I would be interested in seeing. The five shades, it looks like a nice shade range. Just in the swatches to me online, it does look like maybe they lean a little red. And I have some bronzers like that, but if I'm thinking of my favorite bronzers, they definitely lean more golden. And 
for that reason i'm not like jumping on this bronzer but maybe if i see different photos maybe if i see like the description of the undertones maybe i could be persuaded because i do know that like shade three is called golden medina so it looks a little a little like more red in the photo but maybe it's not maybe i need to see some more photos and the same with the powder. I love a good like buffing finishing powder. Hello, oily skin. I love that. So once I see like the undertones and everything in these, I could be more intrigued, but I just, I need more information. So with this one, I'll just say like, I'm curious. These new Man Eater blushes from Tarte, I think I'm going to have to pick up a couple of these. I actually was watching a video from Morgan Turner and she was talking about how she really liked this formula. So I think I, I think I would like to try it. The shades look beautiful. It looks like there's a lot of variety. These are the Man Eater Satin Blush Cheek Plumps. It says it's a gel blush for a satin flush cooling serum dewy i'm intrigued 11 shades for 49 dollars these are available now so i will link them down below it looks like there's like light pink bright pink some brown nude shades some mauve shades it looks like there's more like orangey corally type shades a berry i think these look beautiful like i could definitely be down to try this there is like a poppy red shade a mauve like the the more i look at these the more i want to buy them moira has new shades in their loose setting powders they have pink and translucent white they actually did send me the pink shade i want to try that pink is not my favorite for under eye setting powder just with my skin undertone it's not my favorite not that i think it looks bad it's just not my personal preference but i do want to try the powder formula from moira so i think we'll try that one together in a video these are available now and they are under ten dollars which i think is nice if the powder's nice i need to see so get stoned the brand is releasing their first eyeshadow palette they released an all shimmer palette this is a uh, tin pan shimmer palette high impact and it says it is based off their top selling rhinestones so the owner of get stoned I actually did get to meet absolutely beautiful get stoned does all kinds of like rhinestones and stuff like that for celebrities and just really cool so i'm excited to see them doing like a new eyeshadow palette this is 42 dollars. it says that they're multi-use shimmers and they have a creamy yet pigmented formula with visible glitter that catches the light it says use your finger for a wet effect swipe it on or mix I, like hmm i'm intrigued i haven't bought this yet but i'm kind of curious about it i like all shimmer palettes but i feel like i have my favorite brands already for all shimmer palettes so i don't know that i need to add another one but this one looks pretty and it's definitely tempting me let me know have you tried this did you buy it are you curious about it i would love to hear what you have to say sicily is a brand that is too pricey for me to try right now never say never but right now i think i'm going to pass on this mattifying transfer proof high coverage foundation <sighs> because i just don't know i just don't know it's 125 dollars in 29 shades as much as i would love to try it I, I can't <laughs> I can't I'm definitely gonna be seeing if any like luxury channels I follow review this foundation because I would definitely be curious about that mattify transfer proof high coverage claim my preferred like finish for foundation would be like a satin matte a medium coverage so I think I'm gonna pass but I'm gonna be watching reviews because I'm curious 
Juvia's Place has new liquid blush lighters. It says it's a buildable, radiant, pigmented, blendable formula in their blushes. So these are more glowy, whereas their original liquid blushes were not. Very pigmented though, very pigmented. I bought a couple of shades of that. Really enjoy it. So I think it's very smart for them to bring out a glowy blush. I would be interested in trying these. I'm not jumping to buy them right now, but maybe in the future I could because I do like the liquid blushes I have and a little goes a long way. If you missed my video, I did uh, do a first impression video with the Electrum Cosmetics Heartbreaker 2 palette. Definitely check that out if you want to see. These are hand pressed shadows and they are available now. Really, really beautiful multi-chromes. So as of right now, I have not seen anything new on the Glam Light Betty Boop collection, but I am still very excited about that. I want to see the reds. I've been like stalking the brand page to see more. Super excited about that. And I did want to let you know that I saw Glam Light gave an update on the Kiss collection. They said that, uh, they will post an update this weekend, so I'm guessing I'm too early to see it, <laughs> but they said the collection is coming, the products are arriving at the warehouse, and they are still waiting for one of the custom items. So I know last week when we talked about Betty Boop, a couple of y'all asked like, what happened with the Kiss collab? They did say that it was coming I think early 2024 or winter 2024. So I know we still have some time, but I did want to give you that update since I saw it pop up. I was like, oh, let me let y'all know. All right, y'all, that is all we have to talk about today. I am wearing the Bella Beauté Bar Dead Roses palette. I love this palette so much. I did film this eye look. I will post it ASAP sometime this week. I will post it here as a YouTube short, but I'm loving that palette and I wanted to create another look since it launched this week. I do have a full video up with it if you want to see. I will list the other details of my makeup and everything down in the description box. I hope you're having an amazing day. Please do subscribe. We do these videos every single Sunday and I will see you very soon in another video. Bye! Thank you.